21, 45 says, There fell no part of any good thing which the Lord had promised to the house of Israel. All, all, say all, 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 all came to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, that's good news, isn't it? Sure is. It's for you. That's for me and you. Not one word of God is Amen. void of power. Amen. Not Amen. one promise in this Bible will fail you. Not one. And they're all proven in the person of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. From thousands of years before his appearance, there he comes, a fulfillment by not one man or two men, but by numbers of prophecies by various men. He appears in complete fulfillment. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That is so powerful. You can argue doctrine all day. But you cannot argue a fulfilled prophecy. Period. Glory to God. All right? Numbers 23, 19. Numbers 23, verse 19. God is not a man that he should tell or act a lie. Right. Neither the Son of Man that he should feel repentance or compunction for what he's promised. Has he said and shall he not do it? Or has he spoken and shall he not? Make it good. Do you hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Look in Titus chapter 1. Titus chapter 1 in the New Testament. Praise the Lord. I just want you to see that God is good for His Word, saints. Okay? Praise the Lord. I know Titus is in here somewhere. He's a little fellow. <laughs> Where are we? In, in Him. him. Yes. Where we got to stay? In, in him. him. Okay, how do I stay in Him? Study. Yes. Get into this Word. Because in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Hallelujah. And, and, and He uh, became flesh and dwelt among us. As of the only begotten, uh, the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And I'm, I'm destroying it in a paraphrase, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so what I'm saying is, you in Him have every security, have every assurance that whenever divine, uh, 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 whenever an attack comes, you have divine provision. You understand what I'm saying? Why? Because the promises are fulfilled in Him. Glory to God. And I live in Him. In Him I move. I live. I have my being. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. God is good. Isn't he? I want you to read Luke, the fourth chapter, verses 1 through 21. Because next Thursday, we're going to dissect that in great detail. Luke 4. Verses 1 through 21 is our lesson for next uh, Thursday. And read, if you haven't already, the first intro of this book. Because we're, we're speaking on that. That's where we're going to be in this book next time. All right? I love you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this time together. We thank you for your tremendous revelation of your Lord, of Jesus the Christ. Genesis to Revelation. Thank you for the assurance, Lord, that in Him, every need is met. Every need is supplied. We don't have to beg. We don't have to cry. We don't have to bawl and squall. We know we have exactly what you promised. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody said? Amen. Amen. God bless you. And I will see you on...